What's up guys? This is the Roseman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana. And in this episode we're going to be um, busting a hole right through the Ottoman front line by taking um, out two of these cities. The first one will be a bit more of a conventional siege, but it should be a short one. And the next one will be a very fairly quick um, attack uh, against a unprotected city with a small garrison. But first let's assault Strasbourg. And then after that we're probably going to uh, move over to Spain where we are going to send some of some of our forces out to bring uh, the war to some new frontiers trying to drive south towards Gibraltar and west towards Portugal so we're going to be making a hell of a breach and our entryway is, well, we're not going to be, let's just say we're not going to be doing anything clever. These men are going to hunker down. My cavalry is going to be steady. The general's bodyguard is weak, so don't go mad. But yeah, I, I'm curious to see how, well, how quickly these gunners knock out the... Uh, the wall. Two full batteries of... well they're not even shooting at the right thing. They're shooting at... <laughs> well they killed the general. I did wonder, they all pivoted on there thinking why have they pivoted? Some of them are still refusing to play ball. Sometimes it feels like if you're sped up, they don't take the orders properly. But yeah, this is going to be a pretty pretty quick and dirty simple battle. This unit's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. There we go. Boom! So our quick climb just is just constantly arcing through <laughs> arcing through the sky. Yeah, may as well just let them do what they're going to do, uh, chiefly because we don't really have a need to do um, anything else. Just going to keep blowing our way in. So that unit, that armed citizenry unit, has been reduced from three hundred down to sixty-seven men. Let's get my howitzers to focus on for attacking the sensor, because that seems to be what they want to do. And as a fail save, just generally make all these guys on the right just scale the wall in various places. We don't need all of them to attack this breach. If these guys, they're not going to fire, then I'm just going to have them bombard the centre. It's going to hurt the back of these marines and maybe the light infantry. Yep, some of my light infantry didn't like that. Look at all that damage. Coming in. Yep. They've routed as you would expect them to. I'm sure these units won't be far behind. Not after these chaps start firing their volleys. Climb. Mortars have opened up. I 
Well, I can't see isn't really holding on bravely. But futile. There we go. Just push in. Stop. Stop all our artillery from firing. Blunderbuss shotgun has a handful of militia. I mean, cavalry, less my general, can just continue to push in. Everyone just run in. Right now, there's no need to be clever. I mean, these guys might hold out, but fundamentally, our cavalry is going to get through and they're going to have a torrid time. See, they did get some quick, some good quick climb kills, but not enough to save them. You guys hit the fourth regiment. You guys hit the field artillery because these guys are firing shrapnel shot. See, if they fired at the, at the center here, they could have done loads of damage. we go. Why do that when they can attack units scaling the walls? There we go. Fairly sure that's all of them. Good stuff there. Then we can push up. Well, first of all, we Turn, we make sure Strasbourg stays ours. Give them some good upgrades, like a proper Catholic region should have. A missionary on a mission. Keep pushing my missionary up. My spy, yeah, he's on his way to Bavaria. Settlement. You men are going to storm Stuttgart, but again, this should be quite quick because... A, the garrison is very small, and B, they have no fortifications, so we can just swarm them in this instance. Now, I do, do really need to uh, continue the offensive down in Spain, but what I really like is I'm able to make some good... Well, I want to build up a force in Paris and push south, so I've got two armies, preferably three, to push northern Italy. So all my artillery... Form behind the lines, fire round shot, so they fire over the heads of my men. My infantry has battered the shape as it's in. Get ready for a blistering rate of advance. So they have got a good layered approach. We can't focus on that unit the way I'd like to. Okay, let's keep... Keep the offensive going. Again, they'll probably do more damage than I would like them to do. It looks like I'm getting some sound... Some traditional sound annoyances. So the guys on the left flank don't have to pay attention to this speed bump. Continue the offensive. My chasseur push up as well. There we go. I want them to quick line that unit that's in its in their little bunker. Oh god damn. Okay. 
Good stuff. Continue the offensive. So, cavalry, push up and around. Artillery focus on the infantry to the rear. Okay, you guys outflank them completely. Now it's the ninth, the ninth regiment of militia that's gonna get the pain. Oh, the pain, the pain of it all. Climbs hammering in at the wrong target. What well, the ones I want to clear out are the fifteenth. Keep on pushing. See, now they're finally dropping quick climb on us. I want to fire my quick climb at this unit. But I don't think it's going to matter. So much so, let's drop you guys into round shot instead. Let's actually stop you guys from firing at all. Because, yeah, there we go. Collapsed onto them, and that was that. And we are going to continue it because it's some good free XP. Because this is an army that's currently unbloodied. So let's take advantage of any any opportunity to give my my guys a bit of experience, including my general. So you focus on the militia garrison. You guys focus on the first regiment. I mean, we don't have to kill them because it's a city battle and they will all be they'll be destroyed anyway but it's good for the troops I mean yeah so so many of these guys will successfully rout but it's not it's not the point there we go we got some experience for our men there. Seven men left. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Got him. Spread out. Okay, you can come over here and help try clear out the eighth. So we've got two units attacking this unit of militia, two units attacking this unit of infantry here. They're going to escape because the edge of the map is right there. So now it's everyone versus the 15th. One of our units, the 40th, Horse Guards, is up to experience level 3. There we go. Now they are actually... Now I completely outnumber the remaining infantry with cavalry they're actually not too terrible at pathfinding to kill them all apart from this one guy nuts still like i said i'll take a uh, i'll take a victory there we go lost 35 men and we took the city so they hate us for it but they also have university so once we deal with that that will solve their problem these men can replenish and they can prepare themselves for the final push onto Bavaria. My spy is going to go down to infiltrate Vienna. No, Venice, sorry, to see what waits us in northern Italy. It's not just a question of pushing through Turin. Because once we push Turin, we have to start hitting, you know, Milan and Genoa at the same time. So I would like more men. 
to do that really. Okay, you don't need quite so many guns. So let's move those guys out as well. Okay, you've got plenty of cavalry. You probably don't need quite all that many, but you might be recruiting sharpshooters for someone else. It would be strange if I recruit three skirmishers, because I don't normally do that. You're pushing up to join that army. Okay, this force under Noel Monsi. Well, first of all, there are no real forces that are able to push on Madrid. Except the one I want to attack. So I want to take you and go down to Cartagena. Oh, this heavily depleted army. Let's just auto resolve that. Let's repair the city and replenish my men. So you're waiting for one more gun team plus some replenishment, then you can march south. You're in a good position to go hit Lisbon next turn. We'll firstly knock out Lutz. Lucio Costa, hopefully push him back towards Lisbon. Okay. You're replenishing, ready to hit this Bavarian force north of the river. You can not do anything. We can push. No, don't do anything yet, because I don't want to hit. I don't know. I suppose I may as well. Auto resolve. This action, fortunately, it didn't bring in the garrison. March. But you may need to do some serious replenishment. Let's do some repairs on some of these buildings. So when you've finished recruiting... We can push on to Sweden. This force can... Hit this force and then push on to Gdansk. One army can can keep an eye on this section between the rivers and this army here can then hit Breslau. But I would like to kind of clear up this region down here, really. Then up here against Sweden, you're pushing up to the fort. You're going to go chase down that last remaining handful of Swedish troops. Forward. Okay, so you men replenish. You can probably push to here. Make ready. As can you. The militia. Maybe go via the north to make sure there's no raiding stacks coming through there. This force at Yagava does need reinforcements rapidly. See, interestingly, I'm not sure when this happened, but Anchor has fallen to the rebels, which is quite an interesting development. These two units, I want to pull them back. March. Lest they be destroyed by all these troops. Obviously, it's still an ongoing effort to uh, get my men up to the front. It's from a tech perspective, we've almost got shot or shot, we've almost got um, we've almost freed the slaves, which is excellent. London, in London, the army is still recruiting. Let's get a sharp. I know you're already, you're already recruiting sharpshooters, so let's get a line infantry unit. Then you're going to take guns from here because for whatever reason I can't recruit them in London. Okay. So I think the thing to do now is hit and turn. Let all the recruit recruited units run around the map to their final destination and then see how the AI reacts. I mean, when I push on Bavaria, it will mean we're at war with both Bavaria and Austria. So hopefully they keep doing what they're doing now and pull, out and pull troops out of Bavaria. I mean, smashy smash. We lost a bunch of ships. So that fleet will need to put into port and replenish.
Don't worry, Madrid. You've got nothing to worry about. Not Madrid. Um, Vienna. All that's happening is that you're going to be destroyed. Spain's pushing out, ready to try and attempt to steal my technologies. My precious, precious technologies. But then again, that's to be expected of them because they have lost a university. Ha! <laughs> These ones that are down here in India have got a long way to go. So the Ottomans are the concern. The Ottomans are the ones that could cause some awkward situations to develop. Hmm. I managed to get through that turn without attacking anything. Without triggering any tripwires. I should be recruiting more troops in Stockholm itself, really, I think, to help support the push in the north. Do I want to trigger that attack? No. Get another turn of replenishment in. Persia's probably going to attack me. I mean, I'm going to auto that. <laughs> That's 900 men. Let's do the same again. Victory! I lost another 600. But that has thinned them out. Hello, Bavaria. Don't worry, we're just surrounding your borders for completely friendly reasons. There's no reason you should be afraid. Steam pumped iron mine this time. Okay, so first of all, oh, a spy's trying to kill one of my generals. Let's get you into Lübeck. Get the navy replenished, but we do have a another force here. Not as strong, but strong enough. So you build, you keep rebuilding your ships, and let's just keep the investment rolling. It's going to take some time for these guys to get to where they need to be. Partly due to Finland's terrible road network. Same artillery problems here in Stockholm. And how it's a problem to a degree. Build. Oh no, is that all the sharpshooters I can build? Limited to eight. Yes, it is. He's got some good tech advances. Württemberg. Yeah, they were about to send some a letter of demands, but then they realised how foolish that would be. So let's bring this army down here. Ready to hit the Italians or hit or hit northern Italy from the north. They're not unhappy about that. So this force here. Your orders, Your Majesty. Your humble servant. There we go. So, the Cologne garrison. Okay, you guys sit inside. The Cologne garrison can march up to here. Ready to put the squeeze on the Austrians there. We have the troops we need. You still need one more unit of infantry. You guys are replenishing. So I think the, the, the boil we need to lance first is this cluster down here. But we can only really do that once we've declared war on Turin. So we need to wait a couple of turns for this guy to get into position. 
recruitment's ongoing in England. You can just head northeast here, Mr. Mutafarika. Sounds dangerous like something else. Make ready. And Lawrence to Constantine, what do you can you just keep replenishing? You need a unit of infantry. To be honest, this force might actually back. Let's get Theodore up here. Because you could put Tbilisi under siege. So you said put the city under siege, this force can push up towards Yerevan. Well, no, no, not that far. Dion needs to hit his day at. These forces are continuing their flank of sorts of Swedish troops, although they're not catching them completely unsurprised. Trade route raided, that's fine. Well, that's my guy anyway. Okay, so you go hit Lu Lucio Costa. March. There we go. Now you've got a free slot to pick up a unit of and a more elite unit of infantry. So let's get a unit of garrison guards, and then you can go get ready to put Lisbon under siege. The city garrison is strong enough to go hit. The remnants of Mr. Costa's army here. Good. So we can recruit Sloop here to occupy the port. You guys continue to march across Spain. You guys march down to this bridge. The guns can follow you to catch up. Because we are pretty close to doing some well, we haven't knocked, not knocked Spain out because they still own Cagliari. But it's still some good work. You could probably take a lot of these detachments and make them into an army. Okay, so you are able to push on to Coslin to knock out that unit of guerrillas. And then put. Okay, you know what? I don't want to put you. I don't, I don't want to put them under siege yet, but I can march you up and bring up Ferdinand, even though he is waiting for troops to reinforce him. He can push up. You can push up into the centre, which means that Amadeo can put Breslau under siege. Not attack it, just put them under siege. So you can probably come down to the south here, ready to slam south into Vienna. So I don't want to trap these troops in here, I want them to be able to feel that they can retreat eastward. I don't want them to worry and think they have no escape. They do. They, they can escape. I mean, you could cross over and hit St. Petersburg, but I'd like my front to be a bit more stable first. Okay, so I think that probably means end turn. Because those would be t roughly two armies finished. Although I might just yes. go ahead and ship the guns up to London anyway. Forward for crown and country. Forward for crown and country. Forward. Take you all out of London. Forward. 
So you need you're recruiting. You need you have two spaces. Let's recruit two units. You men are back into La Havre. Let's keep the agent nearby. Well, in the army as well. When it comes to research, there's not really a lot of things to get picky about in terms of the orders. So let's just hit end turn. We need to just keep making progress, which I think we are doing in general um, across the board. Some areas it's a bit trickier to make progress than others. The sooner we take Spain, the sooner we hit North Africa, the sooner we start to take out Italy and some of these Austrian holdouts. Ooh. I could probably fight that, but hey. I'll take the heavy frigate. That was one of my trade fleets rather than a battle fleet. At some point we need to go take out... We need to go take out Iceland, so maybe that's what the London army will go do. Or we'll go take out Denmark, I should say. That's right, Austria. Bring the light of Catholicism to my people. Because we're already Catholic! Ha 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 ha! Uh-oh. We can got Santissima Trinidad. Don't worry. Great Harry made it. Sail for home. But I think he's gonna he's gonna cop it in a minute. Santissima Trinidad hasn't even been touched. Hey, he took out three ships by himself. Good on him. Let's have a look at what my other army is. My other navy is made of in that trade zone. Yeah, you've got a hell of a long way to go, son, before you can get anywhere to uh, steal my tech. Enemy fleet ahoy! Yeah, you're going to withdraw. Because that army was the army that was already weak. We're okay with them keep shuffling around, because they are shuffling into positions we can pick them off one at a time. Ooh, and you are going to attack me with quite a large number of troops. Let's do this thing, now we are fully replenished. We can take them out, and that'll be that. So I think, well, things are going to go... Pretty well for us, I think. We've got a good number of troops. I mean, the sooner they make a breach, the better, because the easier it is to kill them all, rather than fighting over the... fighting over the uh, the walls. And I very much do like fighting in small fortifications rather than large fortifications. A, the, the guns and stuff seem less buggy. Oh, nuts, it's a big fortification. Well, okay, let's deploy gun team there. You there, you there, you there. Put some light infantry over the gate. Actually, let's do this sensibly. Let's do it the way that I would like to deploy troops. Because what I want is in the likely places where they're going to put a breach. I want to put my uh, put some good uh, defenses down. So let's make sure all my cavalry is clustered together. Although that one could be slightly better positioned. Maybe even like that. Howitzers. Oh, these are good howitzers as well. And my artillery stay behind. Oh, 
Oh, nuts! <laughs> God, I suck. Okay. To be honest, if we do try and go for that breach, then that'd be pretty good, actually. You guys can occupy the space between these two sets of guns. How is hucking quick line when they've done a ridiculous amount of damage already. And then again, these are two massive batteries. I mean, yeah, hit the light hussars, I guess. Get my chasseur up here inside the building. You are going to position here. <laughs> this is going to be messy. Unlimber and just get them to focus on firing at the shrapnel shot of the breach. Okay, heavy horse artillery. Drop your payload on the breach. Go on, men. Shrapnel shot ho! So, my riflemen, my light infantry up here are not in a good. They're, gonna, they're vulnerable when the AI decides to attack. You might. It might just be easier to just keep focusing on the. the infantry rather than the cavalry. Because lots of the enemy are going to fall. Attempting to charge in. It might be better for you guys to take. No, that's a bit risky there, actually. At least you got my rifle, my um, rifleman up here, or my light infantry, picking off the enemy. They're attacking from all points of the compass, though, at least, so that means it will spread out there ability to do too much damage. Here comes more cavalry. God, if I had some cavalry defences there, that would be so sweet. So much damage. These are horse guards, uh oh. If we can make them route, then at least we can do damage to them on the way out as well. Okay, maybe we do want to experiment with quick climbing the bejesus out of this breach. They're done for. So many dead cavalrymen there. Oh, good hit, sir. So you can probably hit that Western European infantry unit. Good. This unit can quick climb the breach, which is good to know. General 
bodyguard unit is gonna take some damage. Here comes another. If we are, oh, can you imagine if we had spikes here? Just how much damage we could do. It would be beautiful. Here comes the 33rd Regiment of Horse. Oh! So much damage. Very well. You are no longer needed there. You men can abandon that section of the wall. You men can actually try and take position up above the wall there. And you guys can go there. These guys can hunker down here. So this is, looks like where the main effort's coming from now. Elsewhere, it's just there's a lot of guns sat hunkered down, not doing anything useful. Here come some fusiliers. They can see the burning city and they think, haha, we must be doing okay. <laughs> Your answer's far from it, Jen. There we go. General's bodyguard just got absolutely pasted. Canister shot coming, shrapnel shot coming in. Oh, you lucky bugger. Oh, not lucky anymore. One of our shotgunners are coming in. shot there on these chaps. The 44th Regiment have been almost completely annihilated. Can you hit the 13th Light Foot? I'll deploy my cavalry towards the end. Once the uh, once it's just the artillery left, so the seventy fourth regiment, Sordermanland regiment, eh? I I would imagine that's how that's pronounced. I, it's probably wrong, but whatever. Ah, oh, the blunderbuss shotgunners. Oh, marching into a cloud of quick climb. Officer's been killed. And the cavalry. 45th Regiment. So you guys just have to rejig yourselves and then fire. Now, a couple of guys on the end. The light infantry have had some decisive damage dealt to them. Aim at the 11th. Part of the reason why I've got these guys up here, so they can do damage to troops coming in from this direction, as well as some of them who have ran back this way for some reason. Good stuff, sir. Eleven men of the thirteenth light infantry. Six men of the light infantry are pushing in. Here comes the Royal Cuirassier Guard. They've been hit by quick climb. Will they get hit by canister shot? Shrapnel shot, I should say. Make ready. Oh, they're reloading.
Bomb Square. First unit to actually make it. Got many, many Swedish units are all are retreating. More than happy to pour men into this fighting pit. See the dismounted dragoons. These are brave souls. Yeah, we are getting some artillery fire inside. Yeah, they're pushing for the uh, the house. It's not bad. They might make it. We well, probably will. They probably will get it. To be fair, my chasseurs up yet are not the right troops for that job. You guys might be able to make that. You, pardon me. Hiccup. The unit of horse grenadier guards route. There they go. Well, that's the Fusiliers routed. And the Dragoons. Both shattered. Here come the 63rd. The 11th Light Foot. The 7th Regiment of Foot. The 1st Regiment of Foot. 25th Regiment of Militia. Another Light Foot unit. Just feeding them into the meat grinder. 63rd have had some good damage done to them. Oh, good quick climb hit. <laughs> Poor souls. Could you imagine having to attack this? Some some bright spark getting the idea of, you know what, let's go in here. What about all the dead bodies? Eh, they're probably going to run out of ammo fairly soon. Some militia, foot guards. Hey, this European mercenary infantry unit actually might make it intact. Although, <laughs> well, relative term. So the militia have broken with after losing 10 men they've decided they've had enough of that those dragoons are going to march hopefully into into range they are so here comes the grenadiers let's follow the uh, gre grenadier officer not a grenadier foot guard officer in charging oh we've lost half the number already Shot coming in. Nope, that's that. Oh, officer cut down by shrapnel shot. Yeah. We think Sweden shouldn't have done this. Okay, so the unit is not currently attacking the breach. You guys go after the regiment of militia because they're currently sat there being idle. To be honest, if no one's attacking the breach, I might just speed up time. If no one's currently going into the breach, just uh, speed up time a bit until they move up. Ready on the horse. It's the militia again. They're still getting cut up, but I think they are losing their fighting ability. They don't want to push anymore. Come the irreg some irregulars, famously able to withstand musket fire at the best of times. Oh, there they go. Speed up time once more, because uh, well, it, at least we want to see them get annihilated in the breach, right? Not getting shot elsewhere. 53rd don't want any part of it at all. Let's watch them marching in. 
Brave souls, they're at full strength for now. As they march in, first volleys come crashing home. Artillery shots landing in. My line infantry guards are actually upset. Quick by and cast a shot have done their wicked work. Let's leave those guys in position. This house will soon have to be abandoned due to just not having any um, any actual structural integrity left. But not until the Swedes pay a heavy toll. They come. Militia and Irregulars once more pushing in. Oh god. Quick line landed right when they charged in. Canister shots in. So there's usually one shot then three, two or three come in. Oh no. Damn it. Who's that? The 15th light foot. Nope. <laughs> they were already falling back anyway. I mean, they can't have that many more. Oh, those are dismounted dragoons. The 87th. So at least they're not actually going after the, the building. Oh, they are now. They shuffle in to try to take it. The thing is, they might be charging, but these guys are going to be continuously shot at by my infantry as they try and get inside. They might make it, though. Oh, no. They made it in a bit. Okay, 90% damage. You men fire, uh, turn fireball off because they're going to retreat towards this regiment. Get out of there, man! Get out of there! Although, to be honest, they might be done for. So let's get my cavalry contingent out of the fort. Let's speed up time a little bit. to get them get my howitzers to now fire at will because they may as well she might sit you guys to round shot and begin to pick it oh no you can't aim at that unit From my hussars up here. Okay, obviously I would pick the one direction where the the enemy is still coming from. So let's run them around the other way. Run my hussars out that way at least. Because they aren't still coming in anymore. That's it. That's risky. They're not going to get in position quick enough to use their carbines without killing each other too badly. Charge into the 10th horse guards. We may lose some, but they will lose more. be able to hold back the tides. Okay, let's let how it just keep opening up on some guys like that. Oh, 
There we go, got one more unit trying to push in. Well, it's only a bunch of gorillas anyway. They're going to mop up that gun team, plus those gunners over there. You guys fire it all off and then back on again. There we go, you to use your muskets. You're not going to route them before those militia get in there, so make sure you're on the move. Okay, my howitz is firing round shot. Okay, good. You guys run along. Gang up on those mercenaries. Gang up on that light infantry. Climb, keep hitting those militia. There's my hussars. Driving home to sweep the battlefield clear of enemy troops. Let's hold fire there. Okay, you guys re engage. Let's turn the fireball off for most of them. You're going to clean up these gunners. Huzzah! And then my... Yeah, you guys are going to hit the superior line. You guys are also going to help. Although one of you might just run straight past. Or you guys might actually both mop up this infantry, because you may as well mop them both up. You're doing good stuff against these gunners. Kill as many, gun kill as many gunners as you can before they rout, or before they flee. There we go, the mercenaries are lost. Continue to hack the line infantry to pieces. There we go. Eager, active, concerned, general dead. Smash! Although the, <laughs> the remaining horses diluted the charge a bit. Close victory. That wasn't close. That was a slaughter. The only danger there is we might have ran out of ammunition. Look at that. We lost not even 400 men. They lost nearly 5,000. Obviously the kills aren't as huge as they could be because shrapnel shot doesn't count as true kills and neither does um, quicklime. But still. Some good incremental upgrades, and that's just gutted a whole bunch of their troops. 
and sent that concentration of men scattered, scattering away in the Baltics. Swedes know something's up. Ooh. That's really bad for them. I'm not I'm not even gonna fight that. That's just bad. That's just really bad. I just don't have anything. Go on then. Setting up fleet ahoy. I mean we shouldn't lose that, even though the auto balance says there's a 50-50 chance we lose it. But still, that's the soon the Persians can be killed. Obviously, Dagestan are moving up because we now share a border with them. But what I think I want to do, what I think I want to do, is take this guy here, get him out of there, keep replenishing, and let's. Let's recruit. Let's rebuild. But I want to rebuild specifically with a unit. Oh, can I not recruit them from here? Do I have to go all the way up to Kashmir to recruit them? I do. Make ready. Okay, so where could you recruit? Okay, fifteen turns. No, they they're definitely not coming from anywhere local. It might just it might just be easy to bring you guys back to Esfahan. And just bring this force up to the front instead. In so you guys rebuild. Rebuild. At the ready. So Azerbaijan fell to us. Your Majesty. Let's Take bring Dion up to the east to square up against Dagestan. Theodore is going to engage. Hidayat Az Azamanesh. Sir. Your orders. To be honest, you can probably hear them. There's a whole there's a lot of battles we can do. Especially when it looks like they're so happy to give up this central area. We could probably do with taking Tbilisi as well. But then again, we are depleted there, so I don't necessarily want to attack. Yeah, my admiral fell. Any raid, Seville. Yeah, you just. There's a lot of stuff we can do. Victory! There's a lot of stuff we can do. So you men replenish and you guys march up. Repair. You men demand the surrender of Gibraltar. Let's dispatch riders to boot out their navy. You men are going to replenish and put Lisbon under siege. To be honest, there's loads to do. Buckets and buckets and buckets of stuff we can do. I think the first thing I want to do, though, is because it's been ages since he's got into the fight. Let's take Theodore, because Theodore is 63. We don't know how long he's got left to go. Let's take Theodore and engage this Persian force that did so much damage to us. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the destruction of a Persian army. Cheers, everyone.